Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are taking payment from a customer at the time of sale for a purchase they are making, you can enter the transaction information into a sales receipt. You can create a sales receipt by selecting customers from the menu bar and then choosing the enter sales receipts command. This will bring up the sales receipt screen, which you use in much the same way that you use an invoice. Also, just as with invoices, you can select which sales receipt template to use by choosing one from the drop-down that appears in the template section in the upper right corner of the form. You then enter the customer's information into the sales receipt by either selecting a customer from the customer job drop-down or by manually entering the customer's information into the sold to field. You can then enter data into any other fields as needed. Then you enter the line items that are used in the sales transaction by selecting the items from the item column and entering in any quantities and rates as needed. Now, if this receipt is to be printed later, just ensure that the To Be Printed checkbox is checked. Once you've entered the necessary sales information, you can then click the Save and Close button to save the sales receipt and close the window. Also note that in QuickBooks 2003 through 2005, the bottom of the sales receipt window lets you indicate how you were paid. It also allows you to deposit the money into one of your accounts. In QuickBooks 2006 through 2011, money received is deposited into an undeposited funds account by default. There's no receiving payment at a later point in time when using a sales receipt, as you're taking the payment up front. You simply save and close the screen in order to enter the sale. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.